Along life's sandy shores, let me leave behind my humble footprints until the tide will come in to wash them away. For no matter how one is molded today, time and tide waits for no man. And the ravaging ways of history soon cast one unto its wilderness, a forgotten being in the midst of a bygone past. This is a story about a boy who grew up in the Seychelles archipelago in the Indian Ocean. At the age of 18, he went to study law in London, where he was subsequently called to the bar. He then returned to the Seychelles to become the first chief minister, first prime minister, and then founding president of the new republic. A year after being sworn in, his coalition partner and prime minister was instrumental in overthrowing him in a violent coup d'etat. For the next 15 years, he was forced to live in political exile in London and could only dream of his island home. In 1992, at the end of the Cold War, the Seychelles government opened the doors for multi-party democracy. He came back to a triumphant return, but unlike his violent opposition, he came back with a philosophy of reconciliation and peace. Now 20 years later, in the year 2011, he has just won the Gussie Peace Prize, the Asian equivalent of the Nobel Peace Prize for outstanding contributions to world peace. This is a story of Sir James R. Mansion. <laughs> <laughs>